Hi guys, this is a Korean buddy, Sora. Today, I'm going to teach you some phrases that you can use when you're having a, a casual conversation with your close friends, which are 오버하지마 and 호들갑떨지마. Okay, let's take a look at 오버하지마. Here, 오버하지마. Well, 오버하지마 comes from 오버하다. 오버하다 means, well, you can use this phrase when you want to describe someone who is a bit overreacting. I mean, like a drama queen. So, 오버하다 means to overreact. And 오버하지마 uh, is a negative sentence. So, 오버하다 means to overreact. And 오버하지마, 하지마 means don't do something so over hajima means don't overreact or don't be a drama queen don't be dramatic okay i'm going to give you a short conversation a says 저 남자 계속 널 쳐다보는 거 같아 너한테 관심 있는 거 같은데 b says 아니야 아니야 over 하지마 제 그냥 내 친구야 and here is another expression that have basically same meaning which is 호들갑 떨지마 호들갑 떨지마 호들갑 떨지마 호들갑 떨지마 which mean don't make a fuss don't make a fuss 호들갑 떨지마 comes from 호들갑 떨다 호들갑 떨다 this is a uh, Korean uh, traditional idiom that's uh, can you can use when you describe somebody who is uh, who just who make a fuss over everything or exaggerate the situations so the the verb 떨다 becomes 떨지마 which is a um, negative phrase so 호들갑 떨다 means make a fuss over it or over something and a hodilgaptarzima, which is negative sentence, which means don't make a fuss over it, over something. So here is a short conversation to help you understand the context of this phrase. A says, 3 시간 전에 남자 친구한테 문자 보냈는데 남자 친구가 익십했어. I 3 시간 전에 three hours ago 문자 보냈는데. I just texted him a message. 그냥 익십했어. He just left me on read. 혹시 바람 피는 건 아니겠지? He is not uh, cheating on me, right? Then B says, 호들갑 떨지 마. Don't make a fuss over it. 그냥 그는 어, 일 때문에 바쁜 걸지도 몰라. 일 때문에 바쁜 걸지도 몰라. Uh, he might be very busy doing his work. Okay, you guys have at least one friend who is every time, all the time, exaggerating something or make a fuss or something, right? Then use, speak these phrases, say these phrases to them. So if they can understand because they, are, they know how to say Korean or they just Korean, then they will just laugh because, because they will realize um, you just to say very a uh, um, native expressions like "ubohatma," "hodigapdalzma," and if they can't, cannot understand because they don't know how to say Korean, then just to try to explain what it means, okay? And here is your homework. Yes, um, you have to write down these two phrases in your comment box for your writing practice. And um, if you have more time, just to share with me your story about um, what kind of situation you actually can use these phrases in your real life. And this is for today and I'm going to see you next time with new native Korean expression. New Korean native expression. Good! 그러면 다음 시간까지 건강하게 잘 지내세요. 다음에 또 봐요. 바이바이.